sublimation ink, and I'm talking in a converter printer, like in my case, an Epson 2720. A lot of brands out there. Is there any differences? We're going to talk about what I use coming up. I'm Roger. Welcome to the loft above the shop. A little bit different location. This is where the heat press lives and we're going to talk about is sublimation ink. And I have done uh, videos on the Epson 2720, how to convert it. And the ink I use is, some people call it Hypo, but it's actually pronounced Hippo. Kind of like a hippopotamus, but it's spelled different. Why do I use this? Well, when I first started out, I did a little bit of research, and it, it seemed to be a popular brand, and I didn't really know a whole lot about it when I first started out, so I wing it, you know, I'll just buy a package of it, and we'll do the conversion, and go from there. So what I have found since, and I have worked on other people's printers, and some of them have actually brought them to me, they clog. And not just the nozzle clogging from non-use, but the ink actually separates in the tank, and clogs the line. And a lot of times they can, you know, get that freed up by shaking the printer back and forth and eventually getting it going. And I've answered this, I don't know how many times on uh, my channel here, where people asking, you know, well, I can get, you know, the yellow and the cyan and the black and the, the print just fine magenta. That seems to be the one that plugs the most. And a lot of times it's sediment from the ink separating. I'm on my probably fourth box of this, not counting the one I got in my hand, and I've got some spare bottles behind me here, and my printer was just loaded, and yes, we do a lot of sublimation, and I mean a lot, so I do go through quite a bit of ink. I've never had any problem with this. There's no reason for me to change to another brand, so as they say, if it ain't fixed, don't break it, or something like that. But I, I more or less swear by this, and um, I started out with this way before Hippo ever contacted me about any of their products. So it's something that we've used all along. Every single video that you have seen or maybe would like to watch on my channel that has to do with sublimation was made with Hippo ink. I have never used any other ink and I have no reason to do a, to swap. So yeah, and the using this type of ink in an Epson 2720 uh, or one of the other Epson printers, or any of the other inkjet printers that you can convert, is cheaper ink-wise than going to something like with a sawgrass. And is a sawgrass better? Well, yeah, it is. The sawgrass printer is better because it has a self-maintenance thing on it, but you also pay for that difference. However, I now have some 13 by 19 sublimation paper that, well, this is Hippo 2, by the way, that I'm going to be, I want to be using to uh, do some large graphics with. Problem is, an Epson 2720 isn't going to do it. 11 by 17 printer isn't going to do it. So what I'm going to have to do is get me a Sawgrass SG-1000 with a bypass tray on it so I can do 13 by 19 paper. So I'm going to be investing in one of those pretty soon. And no, Sawgrass has not give away printers to trial. And I'll be buying that. Of course, now the next thing is my heat press right here. It's 15 by 15. That ain't going to do a 13 by 19. That means another heat press. Uh, okay. I can spring for that. Uh, this is not a commercial heat press. This is a hobbyist heat press. We use it commercially. It's not designed for it. It's had, I don't know how many projects run through it, but I'm not here to hype the Tussie heat press, but it works just fine. But getting back to the ink, it gives vivid colors. It's one of the cups we do, uh, one of my shop cups. We're up here, there's nothing in it right now. Coffee's for early in the morning, and it's mid-afternoon. We do coasters, the rubber coasters. We do ceramic coasters. Uh, this one here has a vinyl coating on it. We do ceramic coasters that have a uh, polycrylic coating on it. Here's another one. We do, of course, all these different trivets and cutting boards. I do uh, custom shirts, we do refrigerator magnets, we do mouse pads, we do all kinds of things with sublimation, and I have never had any problems with this ink. I get good vivid colors with it, I get good transfer, 
I don't have clogs. I don't have plug nozzles. So, yeah, I'm hyping the rink. But, as I said earlier, if it ain't fixed, don't break it. So if you got anything out of this little ink thing, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. And there'll be a link for this in the description where you can get it. And they, one of the other nice things about this going on to a uh, Epson printer is you don't have to mess with syringes and all that kind of stuff. That It just plugs right onto the ink tank and fills and shuts off when it gets full. That's great. So I'm Roger in the loft above the shop talking about ink. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.